Yeah, you can do the intro. Nope, That's he's tough. not. It's, it's tough enough when I say, okay, Nick, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> Keep it in neat. I'm Derek, certified bourbon steward. I'm Nick, certified bartender. <laughs> so, premise of the show is what we're going to be doing here is we're blind tasting. Don't know what it is. Could be a bourbon. Uh, could be a Irish. Could be a Scotch. Could be pretty much anything in there. Um, could be Fireball, which I hope it's not really, but that could actually show up, and I'm kind of scared about that. Yeah. But um, that could oh. be anything in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you some tasting notes what, with what we're getting out of the glass, what we're smelling, and we're going to make a guess, an educated guess, or some maybe not educated, but we're going to make a guess anyway. We have our little whiteboards. We're going to write down on there so neither one of us sees it on what we think it is. Yep. And we're going to show that after we do the reveal of, is it before or after? I think it's after we show what we did. We did the first show before, the second one after. So I liked it after. Difference. I kind of liked it after. You know, we take it out, there it is, and uh, here's, here's our guess. Uh, yeah, you know we'll go yeah. with that. Um, we do have a scaling system. We do. Little miniature chug jugs, <laughs> and we are going to do this based upon a five scale. So zero through five, zero being the worst, five being the best. And if we have them standing down like that, that is a half. There's no in between. It's a full point or it's a half. We'll give you our score of what we think. Based upon yeah, but our, uh, on, on what our we think it is, buds. yeah, we're gonna try to give. We'll give you the price on by us, how much it costs, whatever it may be. Yep. Um, you know, in our area in Massachusetts, it's regional, so prices vary. I mean, some of the stuff I buy, I've seen online, and I've seen through certain channels that I do follow. Some of them are crazy prices. You know, they're yeah. paying way more. It could be twenty dollars more a bottle, or even higher. Um, so. We got that. Abel's with us, you know, Abel the Armadillo, always going to be there. He's our mascot, going to be all around Festive Little Critter. Yep. You're going to see him in all the episodes. He's everywhere. He's all over the place. He likes to move about. He's does now, you wouldn't really see that in the wild, I don't think. I don't I think don't, they're really ambitious they're critters. Painters, no. no, they're not painters. No, not really. He is, though. He is. He is. He did this whole room. He did a one good job. <laughs> So, just letting you know, Abel was there behind the scenes helping out a lot. So, you know, what we're going to do, we're going to get into this whiskey, oh, baby, give you our notes, and then we're going to get in and see what it actually is. Here Thank you, you sir. You're you ready, ready to whiskey? It's ready right. and able. Okay, he's ready and able. We're ready to go. Ooh. Yeah, that's totally different. Cherry, right off the bat. Yeah, I'll give you cherry. I'm going to go bourbon. Again, when you're smelling whiskeys, don't go jam your nose all the way in there. You know, you're going to blow out any kind of sensory you have. It's, you're going to ruin it for a while. It's going to take a little bit for you to get it back. Just rest it on your top lip, open your mouth, and just smell through your nose. And it's going to come on over your taste buds, everything like that, so you're going to get the whole experience of it. Little Vanilla? Oak. Bless you, Abel. <laughs> oh, that little critter. He's got allergies. Sorry. Don't we all? Maybe not, but I can't. I, I doubt the cherry's there. It yeah, tastes well, like it's, it's right up front. It I is almost front. think black tea because I'm thinking of okay. black cherry. Yep. I don't think I have that. We do have a sensory kit here you know, that we do have to help us out if we run across any rough, rough patches where we don't think or we think it might be and we can go into there. I don't think I have tea in that one, though. I don't think there is a tea. The toast, apple, cedar. I'm gonna go oak, definitely cherry. A little vanilla. I'm gonna go vanilla on the nose, definitely. Right, I feel like I, that's. You know what? I'm getting just that much, a little bit of apple. Little apple in the back. I looked, I said apple maybe. And I'm just, I'm with it, when I just went in for that last nosing, I got a little this apple. This smells fantastic. Like, because, you know, so far, I have, this I, one you know, is like. And here's the whole thing, you know, I have smelt whiskeys and have had such letdowns on the taste. Because it, it, it's they just don't match up. Sometimes when they do, it's amazing. Let's do it. All right, going in. Woo! Woo! Honey, there is some heat in this bad boy. Wow! I felt like I could have lit a match and gone <sighs> and yeah. just drag it. Okay, uh, that was impressive. That is that's got some alcohol to it. I'm going at least fifty percent on that. Definitely. <laughs> you remember, yeah. like that's got I some know, steam to it, baby. Like warheads, where the face completely goes like. Yeah, that's that got me. That was that was I was I don't think I was expecting that. No, no. I'm getting a little pepper there in the back. 
Definitely some cinnamon there. Cinnamon, I was gonna say. Yeah, I definitely, cinnamon there. But I like the pepper idea. Like we're well, it's like a, that, uh, it's you know you get those pepper notes, but it's not like a harsh pepper. Well, maybe it's like, like a the white last one. They said herbs, and that one was like herbs. I didn't get. I didn't see any herb in no. that at all. So. so the last you know two episodes, the first episode we ever did was Bushmills ten year. Go out and check out our first episode. Fun as we see as these keep progressing. Um, and the second episode was the, little malt, uh, little the, the eagle eagle rare ten year. Yes, and that was. Um, that didn't have a burn like this one. This no, is, that was that was an easy sip up for forty five percent. That other one, but this one is definitely. I'm going. This is going to be up in the fifties, higher than that, because that one kicked it. It's good. I'm getting some maltiness in there. A little malt in there. Definitely malt. I think I know what it. Uh, not specifics. Okay, we can try that too. I tried it once; it didn't work out for me. So I'm gonna just say generalization. I think I know of generally. You what know it what? I'm kind of. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna say, I'm a little disappointed in one part that there's not more cherry. I almost hoped that there was a cherry on the palate, which I know is hard to find, but that would have been so. It's actually not as hot as you think. A no? lot. You. You. You're gonna find a lot more of that than it's depending on what we're drinking. And it could be the alcohol drinks. content too. That's well, it might. It could like, bring it out. It's. It depends. You know. Which reminds me, as we talk about keeping it neat. We say drink your whiskey any way you want. Bourbon, scotch, however way you want. Ooh, Have a nice cube, that's, that's maybe a little bit of water. I'm gonna use a little bit of water just to try to cleanse the palate and revisit this because I noticed in the last one we did. I like it too. We both tried it. Yep. We sat through it and almost at the end of the episode when I sipped it again, it, it brought a whole new flavor. Um, well, flavored, uh, what's the word? I'm the notes for. you go, it'll bring up different notes. Yeah, in there. so like you had mentioned the orange pill and immediately it was like, Oh my goodness! This tastes just like an orange. And, like it's like an old fashioned. It was in there. And, so you know, I mean, when you drink it, you know, obviously we're keeping it neat. That's just the name of our show. But there's no wrong way. If you wanted to yeah. add water to this, if it's a high alcohol content whiskey, and you want, yeah, you want to bring that content down. That's how they actually make it. You know, when they, it comes out barrel proof. And the distillers, what they do is they add water to it and they bring it down to a level that they like and the palate of the actual distiller. So, you know, you could start out with something that's 115 proof and they'll bring it down to 100 proof. Mm -hmm. And it's basically to their flavor profile that they're looking for. So that's the same thing you could do. I mean, if this was, say, 68%, you could bring that down just by adding like a cap full of water into it. It doesn't take a lot, only a little. No. Oh and that's a, and you can try gradually adding to, to a level where you think it's where you're getting the most out of it. So when I was just smelling it, I actually smell a little bit of cedar. I feel like there might be cedar in it, but it was before I tasted it after I drank the water. Or it's the, like, the flavor I'm getting like, it's I mean leathery textile kind of like a background to it. I was gonna say the flavor does not, it know. doesn't taste what it smells like to me. Yeah, a little, just a little, not a lot because there's not a lot of alcohol in here right now, so I don't want to dilute it too much, but I'm give it a little swirl and see if that helps out any. Bring it down a little bit. Maybe a popcorn smell there. I was almost wondering if there was a well, corn, that, it, but. Corn, it's, if, it's, if it's going bourbon, it'll be corn. So depends on the percentage on a mash bill, so. But or, right, you wouldn't be wrong. Butter. Butter, yeah? yeah. Maybe it's my cup. I want to smell mine. Maybe it is yours. I was, I was going to lean in and go, well, all right. like, well, it could be. It could be. Maybe it is. Mine isn't the same. I don't yeah. know. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to write this. down my guess on what it is right now. And then we'll see after we do our reveal. I really hope that the mic got me swallowing. Oh, that's be nice. a nice sound effect to have. That'll be something. Ooh. Um, That's my guess. It's going on the official forever when it comes out. There's my little marker. Okay. Sure. So, let's do the review. Oh, wait, did you do a, uh, a percentage on I that? I did one? do the percentage. I like to put the percentage down. That's going to be my new thing. I'm going to put down alcohol, how much the content is in there. I like that. Nick was way off the last time. Yeah, I'm not, not saying that just to bring it up again. <laughs> But I was way off in the first episode, so you know what? It's gonna be that way, kids. That's the point of this. Okay. Well, this will be. I love how you get to see it before I do. I do. Like, I, you know, it's kind of like a secret like reveal that. for Nick. So, got the. Four okay. Roses. Little four roses right. small batch. What are we dealing? Ooh, forty-five plus. It 
it was going a little hotter than that for me. I, okay. I wasn't going to go with yeah. Because the last one was 45 and it totally drank different. Wow. Okay, so if Four Roses is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Yes, it Okay, is. and sure enough, oh, I put a bourbon. bourbon. I got a bourbon. You, got, you went precise with the 56. I, I did. I did 50 and I did greater than plus, so okay. I, it was just the way it was drinking for me. I just felt well, it was like way it was more really than the hot. other one. Yeah, yeah. It, was, yeah. It, it had that more of that alcohol burn on the background and stuff, so um, that's what? why I went with that. But you know, we got it. We got bourbon. So that's good. Oops. We're, we're right with something. Well, don't worry about that. The microphone's only right there. I just picked that up and just blew out everyone's <laughs> eardrums. So what I'm going to give that? you the actual tasting notes this time. And the winner is... The winner of the day. Well, we know what the winner is. This four is the roses. winner right here. Four Roses. So Four oh Roses, gosh. like you said, it's actually straight bourbon whiskey. It's 90 proof, 45% alcohol, aged for four years. Mash bill is blended of two different mash bills and five different yeast strains for 10 mash bills. Of this, they select four mash bills for a small batch blend. That's so right. maybe you want to explain that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I will. Okay, so... To me, I don't know what that means. With four roses, four roses actually has their, they have five yeast strains that they have uh, totally copyrighted. Okay. So that's for them only and they have it and they use that with their two mash bills, which gives them 10 different strains basically, or 10 different mash bills that they can use. When they do this, the uh, distiller picked out, out of that he picked two out of the, and you have to look this up on their website, it's the OESK and the OESO. Um, which is their high corn mash bill, which is 75% corn, 20% rye, 5% malted barley. Then they have their OBSK and OBSO mash bill, um, which is 60% corn, 35% rye, and 5% malted barley. Now in there, the la one of the last number, uh, of the last letter denotes which of the yeast strains that they're using. Oh. Okay. So, um, you know, uh, that's what gives you the different flavor profiles and that they can go all over the place with them. So they, uh, when you're drinking their stuff, it's all over the place because of their the master distiller and how he mixes it all together and blends it. So they, they blend it and they make this and that's to what they're looking for. A um, little bit on their history, what's up? A little happening? bit, the legend. It began with Paul Jones Jr., the founder of Four Roses Bourbon. He came smitten with the beauty of a Southern Belle. It is said that he sent a proposal to her and she replied that if her answer were yes, she would wear a corsage of roses on her gown to the upcoming Grand Ball. Wow. Pretty, pretty fancy back in ye day. Um, Paul Jones waited for her answer excitedly on that night of the Grand Ball. When she arrived in her beautiful gown, she wore a corsage of four red roses. Red roses? So there it is right there on the, on the, he later named his Aww. bourbon Four Roses as a symbol of his devout passion to the lovely Belle, a passion hereafter transferred to making the beloved Four Roses bourbon. So that's where that name her came name from. Her name was Belle? Well, I don't think her name was Belle. It doesn't say, it's a, she was a Southern Belle, a beauty of a Southern Belle. Oh, actually, of a Southern the Belle. The Southern oh, Belle, okay. you know, down there south yes. and then their pieces. Um, the tasting notes on this nosing. Very was, excited. Let's see. Uh, mellow spice of rich fruit, hints of sweet oak and caramel. We didn't say caramel. No, we said vanilla. We both said vanilla. Yeah, we both went. I yeah. always screw that up. I get vanilla and caramel. Like I mangle ma ma those all the time. Maybe Fair. we should start using that fancy nosing kit I have and yeah, discern it. But we'll, we'll see. Um, it's caramel, isn't it? On the palate, it says mellow, ripened red berries, dried spice, well balanced and rich. Uh, the finish is soft, smooth, and pleasantly long, which it was. And this, I it was good, and I liked it. And it's only twenty nine ninety nine by us. Wow! Right? Now, right? That's a, actually a good buy. They actually have a. I think it's a barrel proof version of this, which will cost you a little bit more. Okay. So barrel proof is pretty much what it is in the barrel. So however it is, so it might be a higher um, alcohol content, but it's whatever that barrel is specifically. So if it's 52%, that's what you're getting out of a barrel proof. So they do have a couple of different versions of those. So to know, thank you. We'll now is a great time for us to advertise for the lovely Derek and Becca. Oh my. This is their Chug Jug, which is a great business that you guys have smallly, uh, on a small scale started. Very small smally. scale. So <laughs> smally, smally, yes. Very smally we've started this. And um, all this is, it's an all oak interior. These are European jerry cans, five gallon uh, gas cans, basically brand new. Cut them out, make these custom inserts for them, made out all oak. Wood burn finish. I know. I remember you sending me the videos and pictures of you guys. Yeah, that's on, that's on the site them. for the Chug Jugs. Yep. Look us up on Facebook. That's there. Um, uh, ch under chug jugs and you can see a couple of the videos of that me making them doing some stuff with it um, the wood burn so every interior is different no two will ever be alike just because of the burn I can't just get the I just can't do the burn the same so some will be darker some will be lighter um, but yeah they come with two rocks glasses and two shot glasses which come out they have all little nifty little holders in there you know to 
Take out your little rocks glasses, enjoy it. If you want to drink it neat, on the rocks. However, little coke, however, however you, you want. You want you. And right here where we have the leather holding, you can actually, it'll actually hold four cans of any kind of soda or any kind of beverage you'd want over there, but a regular size can of soda yeah. would fit there. Um, so that's that. Um, it's a lovely you know, we package. Have to do, sir. We have to do our grading scale. We do have to what do, our we do. Scale. So let's get our. Let's do it. Let's so get to. We have created a grading scale, as we said before in previous episodes, as well as the beginning of this one. Out of the small chug jugs, we do it on a scale of zero to five. If it's on the ground, half. And for this one, I'll lead it off this time. And I'm gonna go. What are you going with? What is your gonna be your? I know I'm not going to need any more cans than what I have. So. I'm going to go right back to a three. Oh. To a three for this. You know yeah. what? I am going exactly with you. Well, I liked it. It didn't wow me. Yeah. And it was good, but I, I, it was just, it was really hot. I felt for the alcohol. It, it, overly what 45% should be. Well, that was my thing is I felt like, I was like, oh, like yeah. this has got to be something serious. Yeah, and I got that. And the break. fact it wasn't to that level too, I yep. was like, oh. However, affordable. Yeah, definitely affordable. Nice it's good, around. it's very nice, it's, yeah. the, it's, it's the delicious But brand. I honestly, if I was to, you know, as we do on the show, we keep it neat, but that doesn't mean we always keep it neat. Nope. And if, if, if I was to drink this on my own, I would probably drink this one on the rocks. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be a bad way to have this one at all. A little on the rocks, that, yep. that's definitely, Yeah, I would not say no to on the rocks with this one. So, this was, this was a good one. This was definitely good, I liked it. I, I liked it a lot. Well, thanks for tuning in, YouTube. Now, we do officially have a Instagram page oh. as well as your Facebook page for the Chuck Jones. Right. On our Instagram page, um, we will insert it right here. Down below in the comments. Where so you're check it out. It's a section down there. Yeah. They'll be in there. Hopefully, I can get it in there when <laughs> I do the videos. So. Give us a like. Follow us. Yeah, subscribe hit the notification button if you want to, during the middle of the day, you will go ding, and you'll get to go, oh, i got to go watch them. Into the bathroom you go. So do whatever you want, you know, I yeah. mean, but you definitely subscribe. Comment below also. You know, we'd love to hear from you, and let us know if you think we're nerds, and you guys need to really up your game a little bit. So <laughs> let us know. It's but other than feedback. that, yeah, it's great feedback. But Here's hoping good. that you find a little bit of luxury. <laughs> In an otherwise ordinary life. Great job, Nick! Yeah! If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.